The Education Resources Information Center, or ERIC for short, is an online database for education research. While the database does have a free version available, sponsored by the U.S. Department of Education, the library's version contains more sources and more links to full text. To use the library's version, go to the library homepage at library.lmu.edu and click on the Database List button. Then search for the ERIC database and click on the ERIC link at the top. If you are off campus, you will need to sign in using your MyLMU credentials. You will then see this search page. At the top, you have the option to simultaneously search within multiple databases by clicking on Choose Database and checking off additional databases. This becomes useful when you aren't sure which subject your topic falls into. For example, another education-related database you may want to search within is PsycInfo. Here are some differences between ERIC and PsycInfo. ERIC contains scholarly, peer-reviewed journal articles, reports, and ERIC documents, which include books, conference papers, government publications, and dissertations. PsycInfo contains scholarly, peer-reviewed journal articles, book chapters, and dissertations. ERIC provides materials on education and the educational system, while PsycInfo has materials on learning and the psychological processes of learning. Because ERIC is sponsored by the U.S. Department of Education, it contains mostly English and U.S.-centric articles, while PsycInfo includes more international articles and articles in other languages. PsycInfo will also allow you to limit your results by research methodology, like quantitative or qualitative, but ERIC does not. ERIC and PsycInfo have additional differences in limiters or filters. For example, on ERIC, you can limit by education level, while on PsycInfo, you can limit by age group, which is categorized according to developmental age. I hope this helps you see the differences between these two databases so that you can select the right one for your information needs. But if you're still unsure on which to use, you can always search within both at the same time. The search terms you use will be the most important factor in your search. Researchers will use jargon in their articles that you may or may not be familiar with. To help you find the right words for your search, use the thesaurus option at the top. Search terms are listed alphabetically on this page, but you can also enter words in this search box to browse terms. Let's say that my research is on school choice. I'm not sure whether to enter school choice or just choice, but that's okay because I have some additional options below. One option I have is to search terms that contain the word choice. So I'll click on term contains and just search for choice. And school choice is at the top of the list. When I click on it, I get various options. I have scope notes which defines the term I searched for. Broader terms and narrower terms are also listed to help me find the right terms. And I have related terms, which are not synonyms, but are common concepts that are usually searched together with school choice. Finally, at the bottom, I have used for, which gives me more context as to what the term is used for. If any of these terms are closely related to my research topic, then I can check them off and click search at the top. So I'm going to select school choice and educational vouchers, then click search. You can see that the terms I checked off were applied in the search box here with the word or in between the terms. And, or, and not are basic connectors for multiple ideas. If you don't want a certain term in your articles, use the not option. If you want both terms in the article, then use the and option. And if you want at least one of the terms in the article, then use the or option. 
So even after getting ideas for new search terms from the thesaurus, you can still add more terms here. Once my terms are in place, I can use the limiters on the left to narrow my search. If you need to find scholarly articles, I suggest using the limiters peer review and academic journals. Peer review means that other experts in the field have reviewed the article before it was published. If you're looking for other types of sources, you can check off that option here. You also want to narrow your search by the date, and a good rule of thumb is to search within the last 10 years. You have other limiting options including subject, publication, language, and geography that I suggest you explore. Once you've found an article, click on the title to access the library record. You can access the article through the link on the left. On the right side, you have a set of tools. You can email the record to yourself, along with the citation, or you can get the citation directly using the Cite button. Remember to always check the citation with the appropriate style guide because these computer-generated citations are not always correct. Finally, you also have an export button to help you export the citation to EndNote or another reference manager. As always, if you need help, please contact a librarian.